What's going on everybody? Kevin with TobaccoLocker.com here back at you with another review and today we have a very special cigar in honor of my number six, six Ohio State Buckeyes beating number two Penn State Nittany Lions last night. Oh, it was a nail by our game all the way to the end so absolutely, absolutely I'm still stoked about it. So I go to my humidor and pulled out a cigar. I've been waiting to smoke for a little bit. And this is the Davidoff Anniversario number three in the aluminum tube. The cool aluminum tube, uh, which is a gorgeous cigar. Even has like a little cedar liner in it. Just what a fantastic presentation that is. Um, a little info online. Uh, let's see, packed in boxes of 20, these attractive and travel friendly aluminum tubes each contain one Davidoff Anniversario number 3, a handmade premium cigar built in a 6x50 Toro shape, my absolute favorite size is the Toro. Expertly crafted to display the rich and slightly spicy notes of its top quality blend of Dominican long filler leaf. Finished with a soft and lush Ecuador wrapper, which will remain pristine in its aluminum tube until time to light up. This celebratory cigar marks the 80th birthday of the famed Zeno Davidoff in each and every puff, right up until its smooth and satisfying finish. Easy going in its medium body, strength profile, and elegant in its craftsmanship and aroma. Okay, blah, blah, blah. Um, the Davidoff Anniversary Series number 2 is comparable in flair, flavor to the Davidoff Double R. Cigar I have not smoked yet. Davidoff has a lot of cigars. I'm trying to, to weed my way through them. They're a little on the pricey side for me, so I, I don't smoke a lot of them very often, but I do try and get them into a rotation. Um, the shorter format gives the cigar an even more distinctive aroma and fuller body. A longer smoke for lovers of cigars made from rich, characterful, characterful tobacco blends of the medium body and Connecticut wrapper. I believe you can get these um, in the tube, and I'm not 100% positive, but I'm 98% positive you can also buy these without the tube, just in boxes of 20. Um, these retail at Tobacco Locker about $23 a piece. You can find them um, at your local uh, tobacconist um, for about the same price, $25 a piece, about $475 to $500 a box. Um, if you can't find them at your local tobacconist, always TobaccoLocker.com. We are a Davidoff uh, distributor. I don't know how many thousands and thousands and thousands of Davidoffs we have. So if you can't find it, I guarantee we have it. Um, funny thing, I was reading the new Cigar Aficionado, want Michael Jordan on the cover. And great, this is the 25th anniversary issue. Absolutely fantastic issue. Um, they had mentioned one of the uh, um, uh, tobacconists in there that had gone through the slump of the 90s um, when Davidoff first came here to the U.S., started selling cigars here. Um, they, they were $5 a piece, and he had told his son that was helping him run the business that nobody was going to pay $5 for a cigar. That was unheard of. People aren't rich. $5 for a cigar. Now... I just turned 40 uh, a month ago, so I, I very well remember the, the 90s. So, um, not I wasn't a cigar smoker then, so, but I, I don't remember the being hard times where, I mean, I, I spent my money on some dumb stuff, but I wouldn't have thought $5 was too much for a cigar, so how, how weird is that? So, we're going to go ahead and light this up. I gotta store this tube off to the side. Uh, I'm almost, I don't know what to do with it. I'm a, definitely gotta save it. Almost feel bad if I gotta throw it away or something. So, cool cigar. Very, very light. Just, I, I love their bands. It's just simple. It's nothing extraordinary. You don't have these giant bands with the, the, the gold or the, uh, the, uh, chrome or silver on there it's just it's just simple oh what is that i'm almost positive this is made of butter did, did you did you hear that cut oh my god that was that was like the smoothest thing i've ever cut
that was a that that's a draw. Like, like I, I I really I really had to look in there to see if there was any tobacco at all, because that was a hell of a draw. Absolutely perfect draw, um, absolute clean taste. It was, I, well, I can't even describe this one. But if you watch any of my videos, you know I don't know how to. I don't know how to use adjectives to describe anything anyway. So, a couple weeks ago, I did the review on the um, Davidoff, uh, uh, the new Churchill, uh, the, the the ones that the tobacco's aged and the Scotch. Scotch cask, Scotch barrels, easier to say than cask. That was an absolutely fantastic cigar. A little more, more heavier than, than I liked, uh, fuller body. This is absolutely spectacular. Um, it, it's almost as if I'm not smoking anything at all, um, which I guess can be good and bad. You know, I guess you, you definitely want flavor, you want you want, want to experience something in a cigar and it's hard for me to get across what it is that I'm experiencing other than just enjoyment so far. So, I'm gonna sit down here for a little bit, finish the, uh, the new Cigar Aficionado, finish my beverage, and uh, we're gonna get back to you guys in a little bit. Welcome back everybody. Oh, what an utterly fantastic cigar. Without a doubt, this is probably, I want to say in my top five, but this very well may be the single best cigar I have ever smoked in my life. And I've smoked a lot of cigars and I've smoked a lot of Dabinoffs. I just, just words, words cannot describe what, what I'm experiencing with this cigar. Um, the most shocking uh, thing that, that I've experienced with this cigar and I have yet to experience yet with cigars is, is the smoke. I, you know, inside, outside, I'm in my garage. I got the door closed right now. My neighbor's mowing out, out front here. So uh, I don't want that noise. You can probably hear it a little bit. So I had it up about halfway so the cigar smoke can, can get out so don't worry about my health smoking in an enclosed atmosphere. Back and forth doing some, uh, some work on my laptop inside because I don't smoke in my house because my fiance doesn't like it. So at one point I came back out and opened up the door and it just I just stood there. And it was the smoke that was in the garage was just it, it was it was just breathtaking mind-blowing I literally just stood there for probably an entire minute just taking in the smell of the smoke that was in you know that lingered in in my garage here and it was just it was just amazing you know just you know when, when I go to the tobacco locker I try and go there once twice a week hang out with all the guys, um, do most of my reviews here at the house. You know, when I'm walking up the tobacco locker, usually the, the, the doors open if, if the weather's good. And as you're walking up, you just get the, uh, the smoke that just comes out and you can smell it. And it's just like, it's like you're home again. And it's just hard to describe that feeling. And, and I have yet to ever experience that here in my garage. But man, when I came in, it was just that, just that amazing aroma of, of cigar smoke and like I said first time that has ever happened and I was I was dumbfounded that that a cigar could could make a place smell that great and then to sit back down here and with my magazine and just smoke this you know I do I do a lot of reviews 
and I'll tell people and, and a lot of them, you know, if you're if you're if you're somewhere and you happen to see this cigar, you pick one up. It, it's a good cigar. Um, I, I've yet to really experience a cigar where I tell everybody run out and get one right now. I don't care what you're doing right now. Go to TobaccoLocker.com and order an Anniversario number three. It will be the best smoke you've ever had. If you don't have time, you know, find your local tobacconist. Go online, look on their website, see if they have those. If they do, stop what you're doing, leave work. If you're at work, just, just say you're sick and go out and get one of these. An utterly fantastic cigar. I cannot emphasize that enough. I'm just, I'm just blown away. I just I don't have words. It's a it's a very clean smoke. It's got a lot of it's got a lot of stuff in it. Stuff in here that makes things taste good. I don't know what those things are. Because I don't know how to use adjectives to describe things. So fantastic. That's all I can say. Go out and get one. I'd say normally, like I said, on a really good cigar I like, Mike, just go ahead and pick up a whole box. And five hundred dollars a box. If you can afford that, pick up a whole box. Pick up two boxes. So but um that's it. Davidoff and Rosario number three in the aluminum tube. So a must buy. So all right, that's all I got for tonight, uh, cats and kittens. So fellow lovers of the leaf, until next time.